Hey guys, Crystal here with the Crystalina Perspective, back with another video for you guys with the Archer and Olive Design Team. Right now, I'm just showing you guys everything that I'm going to use. Today, we are making a recipe spread. So, I absolutely love the HelloFresh meals, and I love writing down my recipes and just how things went with it. So basically, I'm starting off with a photograph. You can use multiple little photos or a big photo like what I'm using. And this is a picture that I took after I cooked the meal. Um, I put a um, I put the recipe from them in the center and then what I created, which are in the orange bowls on each side and took a photo. Now I'm just doing what I like to do best, which is embellish. So I am using some washi tape, um, some grid washi, and a ton of Archer and Olive stickers today. So basically, you just embellish however you see fit. But the most important part is that you definitely want to include some form of a photograph of maybe your ingredients or of the meal after you have created it, um, kind of like what I have done. Or whatever the case may be so recipe spreads are very very simple and easy to make they only really consist of like really two to three elements which is of course you want the name of the recipe i didn't bother about putting the name simply because it's on the menu card that came with the meal but you want to make sure that you put the name your ingredients and directions anything else is just essentially extra stuff that you can add to your recipe spread now i'm going to do something a little bit different here instead of just writing things down i'm going to utilize my stickers because one of my goals for 2022 is to use my stash i'm challenging you to do that too you have a ton of archer and olive products that need to be used so you can get new stuff so here i am basically laying down some stickers you can use whatever stickers you have archer and olive whatever brand and basically i'm just embellishing the stickers and where these stickers are going is where I am going to write my ingredients and anything extra that I may need in order to prepare this particular meal. Another good thing about recipe spreads while we're um, watching me jot down my ingredients is that recipe spreads, you can create an entire recipe spread journal and give it to a loved one or pass it down to your children with all of your famous family recipes. So right here, I am essentially writing down my preparation time and how long it takes me to cook something. I'm typically a person that don't necessarily like to be up in the kitchen for a really long time. So it's very, very helpful to have how long it'll take me to prepare the things and how long it takes me to actually cook the things. Now we are going to move on to the other side of the spread. I'm just embellishing once again you do not have to do this you could essentially just you know write down everything in a list form but since i do have these products i definitely wanted to utilize what i had in my stash in order to create something that fit my aesthetic and beautiful so what i am doing here is i'm just embellishing away i'm laying some washi laying some stickers and on this side of the sheet or of the spread i'm essentially going to just put down all of the directions this is where you want to get to like the meat and potatoes for this particular spread it only took about six steps honestly a little bit shorter but you're just gonna jot down all of the different directions all of the different things that you need in order to prepare this meal now i'm going to let you guys enjoy this portion of the video and i'll check in closer towards the end
Okay guys, so we have all of our steps down to create our meal. I'm just putting a reminder to season per my preferences. And this is the recipe spread. It was very, very easy and simple to make. Very, very my aesthetic, my style, I embellished, I had fun. And I now challenge you to go make a recipe spread and have fun doing it. Bye.